right, now we've moved on to a bit of a panel discussion where we'll talk a little bit more about our project. Uh, first, I would like to introduce uh, those that are on the stage that have not yet been formally introduced to you. Uh, to the far right here on the end is Vince Reese. He's the plant manager of Clearwater Paper, and Clearwater has uh, been a great partner of ours since before they even located in Cleveland County, and they've been a partner with us in our grant application, so thanks, Vince. Uh, you've met Mitch. Uh, he introduced himself. He is the program manager uh, for the industrial system side of our grant. Jonathan Davis, to my far left, is the program manager for the information technology side of the grant. And then Kenneth Dover, who has been referenced, is a networking technology student here at Cleveland Community College. And he has been offered a position, will be starting soon at Wipro, which is a data center uh, located here in Cleveland County. And so we'll talk a little bit with, with him about his experience as well. So Jonathan, I would ask you to sort of to kick us off a little bit and tell everybody a little bit about the project. Sure, so uh, the Mission Critical Operations Project will train mission critical operators. And mission critical operators are operators that will be trained to keep facilities running 24-7. Uh, the goal of the program is to train a workforce that has an attitude and a responsibility of ensuring the security of our nation's critical infrastructure. Uh, these jobs will be working in hospitals, data centers, uh, large corporations, uh, industrial facilities, uh, power facilities, uh, anywhere where our critical infrastructure is at stake and making sure that we keep the lights on, keep the water flowing, uh, that's mission critical operations. Uh, we have uh, a number of employer partners. Uh, Automation Federation is, is one of those that I'm sure will be referenced uh, momentarily. Uh, the ISA uh, is another uh, uh, of our um, partners. Uh, in addition, we have uh, the 7x24 Exchange, which is uh, a large group of mission critical uh, operations, uh, employees, and uh, businesses. Mitch, do you want to add anything to that? The, the only thing I really could add to that is, is we thank you all for coming, and we appreciate the, the opportunity to work with you all on this grant and uh, to be able to create something that um, is unique in the country. It's interdisciplinary in its nature. Can't hold it down. <laughs> okay, that, that sounded like a good ending right there. <laughs> um, I wanted to hear from Vince, especially after Jonathan sort of gave a, a definition of what we're talking about. My first thought was, you know, he says we need to keep these things up and running. You know, you've got a paper machine that needs to run. Um, yes, we do. And, and uh, you know, manufacturing and advanced manufacturing today is is much different than than your grandfather's and, and even father's manufacturing plants. Um, they're highly automated, uh, it's, it's very competitive, and we really rely on that infrastructure with technology to run 24-7 to keep our plants up and running. Great, thank you. So Kenneth, as a student now that you're going to work in a data center where, again, 24-7 up and running is critical. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've learned in the program that will work for you in uh, at Wipro? Um, well, I started in the Marine Corps, of course, mm -hmm. and I transitioned here, and if it wasn't for the help of Jonathan and Susan right down there, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be in this program. But um, this program right here taught me the specifics on routers, networks, how to maintain them, how to keep them running. Um, the technology side of this, compared to the Marine Corps, it's in more detail than what you learn, what I learned in the Marine Corps. So without the help of them, I wouldn't be here right now. They're the ones that got me the interview. Um, I took the interview and then they got me the job from there. Very good. Will you talk a little bit more about your military experience and how that, the, what you learned and what you did in the Marines has transitioned over into your, your new career? When I was in the Marine Corps, I started off in uh, the networking division. What I'm doing here, I'm studying networking technology. Um, I started making cables, fiber from Cat5, and you run the networks, manage the switches and everything, but you don't go into as much detail as far as programming them, and that's what I learned here in this, in this course. And then after that, I went into, it, it's broken up into your shop and then your divisions. I was in CSD, which is customer service division. Um, that's just answering phones. I was there for about six months, and then I moved into server processing division. And from there, that's where you run your backups, you maintain your servers, make sure everything stays up 24-7, because without those servers, supply wouldn't be able to order their parts for the aircrafts, and then once the aircrafts go down, 
it's it's pretty bad from there. <laughs> I, I failed to say, if anybody wanted to ask a question, please feel free to. Well, how, how did you find out about the program? Were you already were you serving as a Marine, or were you out of the service, and then they contacted you, or you contacted the college? How did that work? I was I was actually out of the Marine Corps when I got out. It was in 2011. I took about a year break uh -huh. to do my little vacation and everything. Um, and I actually came to the college, and I had seen Susan. She had she had been one of my high school teachers. Is she in the blue? She oh, is. Okay. She's right down there. <laughs> and, uh, Jonathan's my advisor, and I just sat down with them, got into the program, and I've been doing it since. Uh, Jonathan's been helping me. I'm actually going for networking technology, computer information systems, and networking security. I'm trying to do three at once, um, mm -hmm. and just go from there. That's three associate degree programs, by the way. <laughs> so I wonder if we should send you back to some of the services, because then you could tell them about these programs, and they could transfer the skills that they have, and you could be a recruiter, right? <laughs> For the program, really. Because that's how the, we transfer the skills that you already have in the military. And, you know, we're trying to get more veterans to come to college. So that would be perfect. Uh, well, I already signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, I mean, I'm sure you can get me out of it, but. 